your task was to create three histograms on one output plot. And to do that, you needed to install the Grid Extra package and load it into our studio. Once you've got that, now it's just a matter of creating each of the three histograms and saving them to three variables. I'll use P1, P2, and P3 for each of the plots that I'm going to create. Now, the first histogram is the same as before. We just have friend count passed to X and PF passed to data. For the second histogram, we'll take the log 10 of friend count and remember to add one to it first, so that way we don't get any undefined results. And finally, for our third histogram, we'll simply take the square root of friend count. Now, if I run all these lines of code, I can see that I create three new variables that saves each of my plots. And now I just need to pass each of these plots to grid.arrange and set in call equal to one, since I just want one column with all my histograms. And running my code, I can see that I get all three histograms. And here's a closer view of the three. Notice that our second plot is much better, since we have a normal-ish kind of distribution. The square root transform is also better than no transformation at all, since we don't have as much of a long tail. We do still have a long tail, it's just that much lower friend count since we transformed the variable. The tail's just not as bad as before. Now, there was another way to create these same three histograms using a different type of syntax. Now, the syntax is a little bit more complicated at first, but I want to give you a preview of it now since you'll see it in upcoming lessons. This time, we're going to use the ggplot syntax to create our histogram. ggplot is very similar to the qplot function since it still takes the same parameters x and data. The key difference is that we need to include any x or y variables inside this aesthetic wrapper, or AES. The other thing we need to do is we need to tell ggplot what type of plot we want to create, or what kind of geome we want. The geome that we want is geome histogram. Running this bit of code, I can see that I get my original histogram, which is the first one we created on friend count. Running the entire line, I can save this histogram into P1. Now I've got a plot that I can just alter using scales. So for the second plot, I'm going to take my first plot and just add a scale x log 10 to it. This is going to transform the x-axis or the x variable using log base 10. Similarly, for the third graph, I'm going to add scale x square root. Now, I don't want to use p2 here since I've already got a scale log 10 on it. I want to use my original graph, p1, and add scale x square root. Now, saving all these plots and writing our grid.arrange function, we get the same output as we had before. Now, there is a slight difference here based on the x-axis labeling, and I want you to see if you can figure that out. If you're not sure of the differences, don't worry, I'll explain it in the next video.